Oh, tu veux manger du cavoy Ok, ok. Ok. Paint. We've got. You're gonna need glasses now. You can see here, Glidden. This is the Glidden flat deep onyx color. That is this one. Then we've got the bare black, also in matte, if I can get. They always say on the top what they are and then how they should put the paint dot right there. If they don't, make sure that they do that for you so you don't have to open each can and see what the color is. Color matched Black Panther, which is the one that I liked in the magazine but it didn't look quite right on my wall, so it's kind of the wild card here. And you can see on here it says, um, BMP, which is Benjamin Moore paint. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't really have the right lens on for, is that better? Can you hear me now? BMP stands for Benjamin Moore paint, and then you can see it says Black Panther. They should put the name of the thing that they color matched, and then it's, it's not showing. Matte, and then bare is the name up here, and the color right here. You wanna make sure that you get this paint on the wall as soon as you can after they have shaken it because that is the best time to know what the color is actually going to look like. Some paper towels in case you spill somewhere. And I am gonna start, I'm gonna do this in two ways. I'm gonna do this paint on the brightest wall, the wall that is here closest to the window. Do some samples on the wall behind me, right back here, because that is the darkest part of the wall. So I wanna be able to see what it's gonna look like on the lightest part and the darkest part, just to make sure that before I coat the whole wall in the paint, that it looks good in both spots. Sarah, why are you painting in a white sweatshirt? It was like $8 at H&M, so I think paint could really only enhance it at this point. I'm using old pillows that the boys don't need anymore because they're way too flat. I bought them new ones as my drop cloth. Another thing that I like to do is, I forgot, I forgot one thing, hold on. Okay, you also need a Sharpie. Well, you can use a pencil or whatever you want, but I'm gonna mark what color is what so that I don't forget. You can also just tape the sample above it, especially if you're just doing it in one spot on your wall so that you know which color is which. All right, let's get to the getting good. I'm gonna start with the, maybe I do need glasses. I'm gonna start with the bare black. Yeah, I'm scared, I'm gonna dump it out. Well, you can see it here on the lid. A little bit in here. And I'm just gonna wipe it on the wall. You wanna make sure that you get, you're getting full coverage. Full coverage meaning that you don't see any white spots between it. If your wall is already a color, if your wall is already orange, green, blue, it doesn't matter, gray, make sure that you prime over it in a white before you do this. Because if you don't, it's not gonna show you the true color that it's gonna be when you put the paint off. These little spaces kind of right here, where you can see the white poking through, the solution to that is to just let it dry for a second. Let it dry, don't just keep trying to paint over it. Let it dry, after it's dried, go back over it one more time. While that one's drying, I'm just gonna put the paint brush on top of that lid. So it looks like this. Open this one and put the lid there and move the paint over here and then the same with this one. I'll show you as I go. Bare. Black. Okay, I say okay a lot. This one is the Glidden Deep Onyx. You can already tell that this one is grayer. Yeah, that's got a much grayer. This is this is why this is why you test. And honestly, this was the winner. This was the one that I picked that I thought was gonna be. On it. Yeah. This is the wild card. This is the Black Panther, which actually looks like it is in the middle of grayness between, that's the bare, this is the bare black, that is the Glidden Deep Onyx, and that's the Benjamin Moore uh, Dark Panther, Pink Panther, Black Panther. The reason you don't wanna just keep painting over it, even though that's what I'm doing right now, is it just takes the paint off. It just needs to dry for a minute. That's drying, I'm gonna go over and do the same thing on this other wall over here. <laughs> It's a little bit wet still. Still, I can see a little bit wet, so I want it to I want it to get fully, fully dry before I put a second coat on. So, I'm literally watching paint dry. Okay, this is after the first coat, and you can see 
over here especially there's lots of white showing through and over here too like d it definitely definitely needs a second coat so i'm going to give it a quick second coat since it is dry now second coat i mean i can see why they call it a black color but it's of the black panther living on the edge more the glidden just got a piece of hair in it now all you have to do is put the lids back on Doot. And then you can see all I have left is the little box and the little paint brushes and I'm just going to I'm just going to throw it in the trash. If you want to, you could wash these out and you could use them again for another project, but for me the time just isn't worth it, so I'm just going to let them go. It can be really really hard when you're eager to start a project and to get a project done to just throw paint on the wall or to skip <laughs> That's Yoshi. I've done that before. It is a very timely and a very monetarily expensive uh, risk that you take if you skip these steps. I, I hate wasting money. I really don't like wasting time. I really value efficiency to the point where it's actually a little bit debilitating and I should probably work on that. I'm gonna watch these colors over the next day. I wanna see it on a sunny day. I wanna see it tonight when it's dark after all the lights have gone out. And then I want to see it in the morning. We even get Chris's opinion or the boy's opinion. I can't get over how surprised I am that the bare black is so dark and the others are so gray. It's a little bit hard to see if it's easier seen in person. There is definitely a dominant black and, that, and that's the bare black. Very aptly named color. Okay, the very last thing I'm gonna mention as I am literally sitting here watching paint dry. Don't base how well the paint is gonna go on, the coverage, based on this experiment because the foam brush is not gonna put the paint on as well as the brush that you're gonna use when you're actually painting. It could be argued that it would be good to use the brush that you're gonna use when you're painting to do the samples, but I just, I can't get that detailed about it because I just don't care, really. And now we sip tea and wait.